It's crazy to think that these guys Man, the cave troll. are the same guys who made this movie. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my review for Talk To Me. This is a film that admittedly I took a really long time to see. Work was ridiculous. I was so backed up with everything that was going on. But this movie stayed in theaters twofold. One, because of the writer's strike just not having anything out there for anyone right now. As well as the word of mouth that this movie had. Constantly had a nine-ish showing at my theater for like the last month. And so I went and saw it and lo and behold, there was like 20 or so people in the theater. This is one of the best horror movies I've seen in a while. Modern horror done incredibly well. And the fact that it's an A24 film and it lacks any form of pretentiousness is even more astounding. The film follows a girl named Mia who is estranged from her father due to a death in the family and she's lost in her social status and where she is and she kind of latches onto this family group friend that she's friends with, also has a little bit of a history with, and then she comes into contact with these two people who have a hand, which is a gateway, so to speak, to the ethereal realm of the dead. And aside from taking the fact that they can contact the dead fairly easily, it is such a relatable film in terms of its social status, peer pressure, social cues, isolation, awkwardness. I really liked Mia's character in this film. Not so much her actions, like she does some pretty shitty things in it, but I think it's the relatability, the idea that, yeah, you could see yourself being in that situation of peer pressure. You could see yourself being in that situation of awkwardness, of loneliness, of lacking of understanding of what to do, where you are, and just looking for something to try and take away that feeling, even if it is a vice. That is a part that I feel is a really good part to talk about with this movie because the horror is great, but it's also the relatable anxiety that helps make this movie so grounded. And it's not trying to hold up its pinky finger or trying to be obnoxious like anything that Ari Aster's made. It's just a really well put together film. But now I want to talk about the parts that I really, really enjoyed. Sound design, both in the horror elements that happen to you, that you can see on screen, as well as the audio design of the movie, transitioning from one scene to another, embodying body sort of squirming horror gets just under your skin. There was a point where there was a sound that came up during this scene where they were in a room in the dark and I actually full on looked to my left because I couldn't tell if it was from the movie or if it was someone to the left of me. Wigged me out that much. These guys have made some pretty wackadoo violent videos on YouTube but they also understand how good sound design is. Like these guys made pretty epic YouTube videos. It boggles my mind that the Game of Thrones versus Lord of the Rings video is almost 10 years old. But they showed then that they knew how to make a solid, entertaining piece of film, as well as destroy the fucking house. Like I think they destroyed that house over and over and over again for every video that they made. It is their understanding modern social norms and forming them into this very personal but relatable story about grief, about peer pressure, about anxiety, and the manipulation that comes in all forms. There are so many parts of the film where you were wondering where the story's gonna go, and it legitimately there was one bit that I knew was coming from very early on, but I didn't know how it was gonna appear. And right up until the end, I love the ending. From the sound design, to the characters, to the acting, to the distaste you have for people, but it's because you can relate to that, or at least I could, that made me understand where they were coming from. If you want a horror movie that gets under your fucking skin just with sound alone, this movie does it. They've got fantastic practical effects in this movie, and the imagery, when they are allowed to dip into it, which I'm kind of su surprised that these guys held off, they were a bit gracious with what they did sometimes. There's one certain moment that just made me squirm, and I loved it. I was happy to be terrified. I was happy to be squirming. I was happy to feel uncomfortable. This movie did for me what I feel some people thought that the Evil Dead Rise movie did for them, but this movie does it 
bucket and spades more and it also makes the opening actually make fucking sense and relatable to the rest of the film unlike evil dead rise evil dead rise opening is great but it makes no fucking sense in context of the rest of the movie but in the end my rating for talk to me is just thoroughly impressed and i keep on thinking about it i keep on wanting to talk about it i'm gonna give talk to me a seven out of seven Maybe that might be a little bit over like, ooh, for me, but I don't know. I just really, really enjoyed it. I in immensely enjoyed it. And I would highly recommend it to anyone who's a horror fan. For their first movie, they did an exceptional job. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested more, subscribe. Apologies again for being gone for so long. My season is starting to wrap up, which means I'm getting to get back to reviewing projects and whatnot and reviewing shows and whatnot again. So I hope y'all are doing well. And I'll see you guys next time.